Good afternoon, Don Keith with the Diary of a Psychotic video blog. This video blog is brought to you by Granger Supply, for the ones who get it done. Wow, you can choose your friends, but you can't choose your family. Uh, I suffer from some forms of post-traumatic stress disorder. Uh, strangely enough, none of the times that I've been shot or stabbed, or nicked, or or been in an accident, or slammed my head off the dashboard, or the windshield, or or the, the or the cockpit of whatever vehicle or conveyance I happen to be in. None of those things cause post-traumatic stress disorder. What caused me the most post-traumatic stress disorder was, well, Norman Bryant knocking me into my Tonka fire truck when I was about six years old. There's a scar right there. Why my, my eyebrows are uneven. Uh, that was my stepfather, and he, he hit me in the back of the head, and I fell, and, and hit my Tonka fire truck. The ladder was up. Let's see. What else called me post-traumatic stress disorder? Um, big fight between my brother Ronnie and my brother Billy and myself. And uh, they nearly fucking killed me. All right, I was only about 12, maybe. I mean, it was 12, maybe I was 13. But I thought I was as strong as the two of them combined. Well, they showed me that I wasn't. It's a good thing my mom came along and stopped the two of them because they were, they were really, really, they were really killing me. Um, the other thing was, is, is embarrassment can actually be a post-traumatic stress disorder type, type, type of thing. Uh, you know, you should really, really, really not trust your neighbors that much. Your neighbors can do a lot of damage. Uh, I've, I've, been, uh, I've been noticing some of the complaints of... Uh, my lifelong neighbor was Barb, uh, Barbara. Uh, and her her uh, maiden name was Craddock. She, uh, she had some distressing messages on, on the social media page where her neighbor's been taking her mail. Yeah. She didn't know that that was illegal? Her neighbor said it wasn't illegal? And then the police department in the town that I used to live in, they said it wasn't illegal. In what freaking world is taking somebody else's mail not illegal? People have gone to jail for that. I mean, and gotten like serious time. Two, three years. It's a felony and it's a federal crime. You cannot intercept somebody else's postage. Period. You do that, and they can actually shoot you. The person who's supposed to receive the mail at it, during wartime. If you were a courier and you were intercepted, you were hung as a spy. Yeah, because whoever thinks they declare sovereignty in that area, by God, they enforce the law. And their laws say that interfering with postage or pretending to be postage is a crime punishable by death. I'll tell you what, they'll take you out and hang you as a, as a spy, a traitor. Well, be that as it may, uh, my friend should really realize that please don't let them take your mail. All right? And I would use like, I would use like force to get my mail back. You know, like a stick or something like that. Smack the woman with it. You know, say, give me back my mail. Bap, bap, do it now. Bap, bap, bap. You know, if she says she says something smart ass or something like that, bap, hit her again. Right? <laughs> and say, shut up. Bap. Give me my mail. Yep, 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 yep. Bap. Give me my mail. Well, I'm not. Well, not. Bap. You gonna give me my mail now? Well, I'm not now. I'm not the police. Bap. Go ahead, call the police. I hope you call the police. I want them to know that you took my mail. So, <laughs> anyway, I've gone completely off the rails for this particular diary of a psychotic. But uh, you should know, Barb, don't let them take your mail. It's a crime. When somebody commits a crime in front of you, say they're committing a crime. And that you know they're committing a crime. And you're going to tell everybody that they commit crimes. Tell them they're a criminal now in your eyes. 
Just get this lady to stop taking your mail, hon. Okay? Well, that's all I got to say for, for now. A couple of shout outs. My favorite nurse, uh, the Rotten Tomato, the Bearded Lady, the Jump Street Twins, uh, Drunken Pete, may he rest in peace, and, um, and just Jim. Well, Jim just had a birthday, too. 61 years old. 61 years young. Okay there, Jimmy. Well, this has been the Diary of a Psychotic, brought to you by Granger Supply, for the ones who get it done.